Hello, my name is Susan Alves and I am a student success mentor. I'm a recent LaGuardia graduate. I majored in Spanish and English translation. And today I will be showing you how to get around Blackboard in order to have a successful semester. To do this, we first need to go to the laguardia.edu page. Then we will go to My LaGuardia and click on students as we look onto our student portal. We need our username followed by our Ample ID and we add the last two digits of our birth year at the end of our ample ID. Once we are logged onto My LaGuardia, we will scroll down and find our eTools and click on the Blackboard icon. As we click on the Blackboard icon, we will be redirected to CUNY login for Blackboard. For our username, we will use our name, dot, our last name. This is followed by at login.cuny.edu. Some usernames have a set of two digit numbers. If this is your case, these numbers will most likely be the last two digits of your Ample ID. The password will be your CUNY first password. We can go ahead and log in. Once we log in, we will be on the Blackboard homepage. To find our courses, we will go to the right upper side of the screen and find our name. Next to our name, we will see an arrow pointing down. We click here and we will see the different courses that we are enrolled in. To find an instructor's information, we will click on the desired course and we will find a different navigation bar on the left side of the screen. I click on content to view the content of this course and I will find the syllabus. In the syllabus, I will not only find the topics that I will be studying for this course over this semester, but I will also find the information for my professor. Here is my instructor's or professor's name, followed by their email and more information about the course. In Blackboard, I can also go back to this navigation bar and find more about how to stay connected with the different courses and professors that I have for the semester. For example, I will get notifications once my professors make any posts, once they make any updates, or they update my grades. I can simply click on any of these icons and I will open up the message that they have posted. If I need to check my grades, I can simply click here and I will be redirected to the different classes that I'm taking and the grades. I will see the title for each assignment along with the grades that I have obtained. This can be done for the different courses that I'm taking. Aside from this, I would also be able to check any additional information that my professors have posted. For example, if I go to a different course, I have access once again to this navigation bar. I will see the information and in the information, there are different folders that my professor has posted. I can click on these folders and I'll find any readings or any resources for this course. If I go to the content information for this course, I will see that I have attachments here that I can download and read and study. I also have some prompts and I also have some links to some videos that I can watch. Now, not every professor divides or titles their classes in the same way. There are some other courses that have this navigation bar looked differently. For example, this professor has decided that he or she is not going to add the content or information, but instead we have course documents. As I click on course documents, I will see the information pertaining to this course along with links or anything else that the professor has provided for me. Another example of this could be this. For this class, the professor has decided to be very detailed about the content that they are sharing with their class, and they have divided this section differently. As we can see, we also have quizzes here. Professors can post exams or quizzes on Blackboard. To check them, you just need to click on wherever the area is for quizzes and exams and it will lead you to the instructions and the time that you have to take these exams and quizzes. Something else that you may find on Blackboard is that some professors will ask you to engage in different conversations with your peers. 
To do this, you will find the discussion's title or again, however the professor would like to title this section. As I click on discussions, I can find a forum with different title topics of what my professor may want me to engage in. To post a comment or upload an assignment, I can click, simply click on the title for this assignment and then click on thread. As I create thread, I will find the form description and as I scroll down, I will find the section where I can title the subject of this assignment as well as a space to type in in this text box. However, if I do not need or want or desire to type my assignment directly into this box, I can also attach a file. If my assignment is in a Word document or in a PDF, I can simply browse my computer and upload it. Browse my computer or browse my Dropbox. Do not forget while doing this to click on Submit to successfully submit your assignment. A quick review of what we've shared in this video is, remember always to log onto your Blackboard to check for any posts, updates, or grades in order to be successful in your semester and be updated with what's happening in your courses and in communication with your professor. I wish you the best and have an excellent semester and academic year.